yeah. we just need to be able to count our blessings. That's, yes. You know, we can, we yes. can get so in the business of doing That's church, right. but mm -hmm. really not understanding the importance of fellowshipping. Right. And let's yes. just say sharing what God is doing and what right. God has done in our lives. We can go so quick into doing this, singing our songs, praying, and oh, praying is good, great, but we sometimes need to just magnify God and talk mm -hmm. about how good he's been. You know, yeah. the little things, and you don't know who might even see this and right. relate to your testimony. Relate right. to what you might have gone through. I'm right. holding on. I'm just like Lynn. I'm holding on. Just I'm holding on. just like Lisa. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. I'm oh, blessed yeah. like Keisha. And Lord, yeah. I can see I got food in the house. I got yes, on the back. I got a car outside. I got my, ah. my, my sidewalk shovel. My, you know, yes. I'm just black. I got food. I don't need nothing. Amen. Do you know what we're living up under in this pandemic? How oh, many people God. are running to the food pantries? Yeah. How many people right. think they had a job? How many people? God says he will supply oh, all of your God. needs on, according to his riches and glory in and Christ Jesus. Yes. yes. Yes, he and he's doing it. And you know what our doing job it. is to do our part and believe mm -hmm. that faith. See, we mm -hmm. just have to keep Amen. exercising that God, that God is believing, knowing that all things are truly <laughs> working together. together for the good. Why? Yeah. Because God is not a man that he would lie. He, he would lie. Come on, are you hearing me? He, he don't yeah. know how to do that now. That's uh, not in his vocabulary. Uh, it's right. Impossible right. for God to do that. Right, you can't even trick him into lying. You know? Right, I mean that's what makes him God, and that's what makes us, you know, human. <laughs> Thank you, God, today. Why? Because we all fall short of the glory, yes. and we yes. can be thankful for His grace yes. and His yes. mercy. You know, but I would dare say that many of us, uh -huh. you know, we don't let's just say realize how the enemy is coming mm -hmm. up against us, uh -huh. and, and 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 let's just say. The, uh, the tactics that he's using to gain an advantage over us, so on and so forth. Uh, Today, you know, last week we talked about we talked about the counterfeit Christian. Yeah, we only count that counterfeit that Christian is only counterfeit because of the fact that he's given place to the devil. When right, you give place to the devil, you use you lose your legitimacy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's no longer, let's just say, the God that is in you. That's moving, that's blessing, that is uh, keeping you, holding you up, allowing you to advance and to go forward. Now is the enemy put brakes on you, and you are not able to move out of this place where you might feel stuck. Oh, Come on. Man, I don't understand why. I just can't get ahead. I don't understand why I've been sick so long. I can't understand why I've been broke, busted, and disgusted so long, <laughs> and so on and so forth. And we can sing a song, but that's not going to change our situation. No. Uh, no, because the Bible says when the praises go, go up. up. See, Come on. you didn't say come when on. the complaining go up. It's when <laughs> the, praises go up, the blessings come down. We yeah. have to stick to the script. Yeah. Right. I'm going to praise him anyhow. My body yeah. might not want to respond, yeah. might not right. want to react, or don't want to get in line with this word of God. Uh -huh. Do mm, what my God has enabled yes. me to do today. And if Amen. I can open up my mouth, I'm going to praise him. I'm not going to let no bird chirp. No. I know we got some birds in the house. I'm not going to let no cat, no dog. I'm not going to let no animal. I'm not going to let nothing out praise me when it comes to thanking my God for all of what he's done and representing me together with my family. Yes. Be able to see my family one more time. Yes. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. So the real fight, the real fight that we have is against a real enemy. And that enemy is called the devil. Are you hearing me? The devil's not taking no shorts. He's not playing no games. He's in it for real. And that, what's that? The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Kill and destroy. And that's what he want to do. Everything that's good in your life, he want to break it down. Whether it's your health, whether mm -hmm. it's your finances, whether it's your marriage, whether mm -hmm. it's your job, whether it's your home, whether it's in your church, your ministry, anything mm -hmm. that's good in your life, he mm -hmm. want to destroy it. Amen. You have to be able to see that, know that, and understand that. 
the Bible says it's not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. So I got to have to allow his spirit to have free course will, or let's say have his way in my life. In other words, I have to be able to surrender myself to the Holy Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to manifest himself in and through me. Come on now. Through you, are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. let, me let me give you this, this uh, Ephesians chapter six. And I'm gonna start at the 12th verse. Because I said my theme is know your enemy. In the 12th verse, Ephesians 6 and 12, really you can start at the 10th verse, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I got so much for you. I want to just kind of give you the bullets that's going to really impact what we're talking about tonight. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto yourself the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand in the evil day in having done all to stand. See, and mm -hmm. let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in that sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I, I love that 12th verse because it says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. In other words, we're not here to, to fight against each other. Right. See, there's a real devil, real deal devil out there trying to break a good man, good woman down, trying to tear up relationships, like I said, marriages and, and, mm -hmm. and friendships and so on, family. Why? Because that's what he does. That's, that's in his nature to do that. Uh -huh. But as men and women of God, it's in our nature to do what? To love one another. Yes. You're not going to be able to love one another if you're not willing to forgive one another because we all fall short. None of us are perfect. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to say things, do things that might not be acceptable, you know, and, and might not be good. Why? Because, hey, <laughs> I would like to say we are naughty by nature. It's in our <laughs> DNA. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? It's in our DNA. Why? Because we were born in sin and shaped mm -hmm. in iniquity. So yep. we realize we're going to err. We're going to make mistakes sometimes. But don't hold me to that. I mean, Lord, forgive me. Thank you, Jesus. Come yes. on. Yes. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God have not given you a Come spirit on. of fear, but of power and of love in a sound Ooh, mind. Sound. We have to operate in a sound mind. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I know Lord right. Jesus. See, if you don't see the importance of operating in a sound mind, what's going to happen is you're going to give place to the devil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to operate in your gift, your talent, mm -hmm. whatever God has, 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 has put in you for you to do while you're here. You have to be able to see the importance of operating in a sound mind. Amen. Now, you're not going to operate in a sound mind if you don't have peace. Mm, I'm right. talking about that peace that comes from God. I'm not talking about the peace you're going to get out of a bottle or at the end of a, 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 a substance, a drug or something like that. I'm not talking about that kind of peace. I'm not talking about worldly peace. I'm talking about that godly peace. I'm talking godly. about that peace that compasses all understanding. All understanding. That peace that makes you feel good on the inside. That peace that knows how to stir you up and get you moving and grooving. That peace that knows how to put tears down, yes. running down you. Oh, God, I just don't know why you Thank treat you. me like this. Are you yeah. hearing me? And when you can't find that somebody to comfort you, the God is an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging for bread. I'm talking about an on-time God. Thank you. Yes. Jesus. See, 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 we have to, I would like to say, we have to prepare, let's just say, for battle. Because we, hey, really, we were born behind enemy lines. Yes. This is a fallen world we live in. Yes. So we're born behind enemy lines. So that means I have to be able to know how to battle. I'm talking about spiritual warfare. I'm talking about being able to, to uh, discern, see, know, and understand that the weapons of my warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through God to the pulling down a stronghold. Down stronghold. Well, that devil want to get me behind a stronghold of doubt, a stronghold of worry, a stronghold of fear, a stronghold of complaining. Yes. And that praising 
not talking about how good God is, but complaining about, oh, if you only know, one of the no bad luck I'd have no luck at all. Well, either you bless or you curse. And I'm thanking yes. God there's no gray areas because my God, he's an ever-present help in the time of trouble. See, but what we have to do as Christians is we have to train to reign. Train to oh, reign. Train I'm not to talking about like the rain. That. All of, I'm talking about rain. Reigning. I'm talking about reigning and ruling and having mastery over our flesh. Yeah. Not allowing the flesh to dictate and to do or to put me in those mood, string, mood swings where I don't feel like I want to be around nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody. No, I'm going to train to reign because I'm going to be able to speak to the mountain. Be thou removed. No. I heard that earlier yes. today. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and not doubt. See, I'm, I'm going to put the word of God to work. When you put mm -hmm. the word of God to work, then you're going to be able to have mastery over your flesh, over that those desires that might want to take you away from God and not toward God. See, Satan want to interrupt your journey. Yes. He don't want you to get where God wants you to go. He don't want you to do what God wants you to do. He don't even want you to see yourself as being good enough to make it or to do what God has called you and have set you up to do. I'm Ooh, here to tell you, it. you are amazing. I'm here to remind you that the anointing of God is upon you. I'm here to let you know that the best is yet to come. Yet don't to give come. up, don't give in. The devil is a liar. See, you got to remind the devil yeah. that he's a liar. And I know it. You know, I know you a liar, devil. See, and, and, see, see, and, 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 and see, in the process of interrupting our journey, the enemy want to steal our dream. Yes. He want to, he want to, he want to block your vision so you don't see, know and understand what it is you supposed to do because you're so busy looking at him and at what he's doing to you. See, he want to get you off balance. Off balance, yep, off balance. You know, you know, and, and, and cause you to have a slip up. But when you fall, you got to get back up. How many times we just lay down there? Oh, the hurt, the pain. I just got to lay in this for a little while. And that little while turned from a day to a week, from a week to a month. And that laying in that pain can be for years. Ask Lynn. But Lynn ain't complaining. Lynn is praising God in the midst of a struggle, in the midst yes. of a test. Of course, he yes. knows that God is faithful. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor their seed begging He's for bread. Begging for Thank it. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Jesus. Because God will supply all of your all needs, needs. Uh -huh. according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Yes. And then I come to realize that the devil oh, will use anybody. Mm -hmm. He will use anybody and anything. Mm -hmm. Anything to keep you from getting to where God wants you to be. I know that's right. Wants you to be. See, you have to be able to see that. Anybody and everybody. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the enemy wanna he wanna get you to let's just say that to grab hold to that temptation. Mm -hmm. For some, it might be alcohol, the mm -hmm. other might be a drug, whatever. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's why you have to, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thanking God for my, my 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 family. I'm with my family tonight, and that's what this is about because mm -hmm. a family that pray together. Stay together. Together. Come on now. See, but Amen. there's some folk in the family that need to get a prayer life. There's yes. some folk in the family need to get introduced to Jesus. Uh, and yes. let me add, mm -hmm. reintroduce. Because yeah. you might have met him, but you've allowed yourself to walk away from him when All you right. need to come back. Come back. Come back That's to Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. we can come back right. to Jesus. Come back. Because that Ooh. devil had to run in all kinds of directions. Have you doing all kind of things, thinking that what you're doing is the right thing because you're so busy trying to make a living, trying to make a life or create a life for yourself when all you have to do is discover your life in God. Yes. Ooh. See, the devil wants you to close your eyes to, to God's best. God will never offer you what's good. He will always offer you what's best. Best. And as I said, offer. Now you have to make a decision to choose. You are given yeah. the choice. Do I want the best or do I want to go after what's good? Going after what's good is what's in me. Going after what's best is what God is offering us today. Mm -hmm. what you want today? Because anything short of, of the best, you're going to keep on pursuing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, yep. You'll never be able to fill that void. You'll never be able to, to satisfy your flesh. Mm-hmm. So you know what? Because I, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Because what's good is never going to be good enough. Isn't it crazy how we get one job, now I need two? You know, and I know when we was in our young life, some cool. Let me, let me I'm not even gonna go there. But it's amazing how <laughs> we can never be satisfied with what's good. Never. Uh, because God wants you to know, I'm offering you what's best. best. And He gave us His best when He gave us His Son. Amen. Yes. When He gave us Jesus, He gave you His best. Yes, see, Lord. But the real deal is, see, He wants you to close your eyes to the blessing, but He wants you to open your eyes to the mess. That's what the devil want to do. You Come on. Open your eyes to the mess. Mm. So mm. you don't see all the good that God has. As a matter of fact, uh, Exodus 23 20 says, Behold, I sent an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into that expected place that I have prepared for you. Something that is prepared is already set up. Are right. you hearing me? Something, and yes. I'm talking about God setting the table. I'm talking mm-hmm. about God, oh, doing what needs to be mm. done. Thank in you, our Jesus. lives. That's why yes. God can say, I don't need nothing because God is supplying all of my all needs. All my needs, yes. And you know why? Because when you meet God's conditions, he'll meet your provision. Are you hearing me? He will provide according to Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will all be added that. unto you. It didn't say you got to go out there and buy it, which we do, but he's going to supply the money for you to do that. Or you, yeah. you got folk that have beds. I mean, talk about big, nice, big, huge beds, nice big homes, and living up on the hill, got all the cars and all this other stuff, but they can't sleep at night. They yes, have no. bank account money, but can't sleep at night. Are you hearing me? A yes. Said, can't sleep at night. Are you hearing me? And then you got yes. some folk don't have much, uh, uh, much of anything, and and they're sleeping real good. Are real you, good out there sleeping real good and that's what god wants you to know that in spite of mm, i'm here to tell you god will make a way out of nowhere no right because the enemy's into he's into breaking down relationships yes you know you look at you know hey i'm gonna tell you you know listening to to lynn i gotta go back to lynn and how she said the family's coming back together again you know and 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 I'm saying to myself, well, why did the family go apart? Why did we stray apart? You know, right. so on and so forth. What were we so caught up into? What did we allow ourselves to get so caught up into that we thought it would be best to step out or step away from one another? Yeah. Sometimes we have to go through some stuff in order to come back okay. together where mm-hmm. God can show you that you are stronger together yep. in a in Divided, are you hearing? Yes. Me? United yeah. we stand, divided we fall. So the yes. struggle is, is 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 in being apart from one another. Right. I like to use the illustration of yes. what was in the fire. If we was to go on that picnic or that that uh, uh cookout, and you got that got that cooker going, and you got the coals on the fire. Long as those coals stay together, that fire is gonna roar. But once you pull one of those cubes yeah. out and put it on the side, that thing's going to go out. And go that's right what out. happens to us. Once we leave the fellowship, once we break away from the fellowship, we begin to, to die out. We begin to cool down. And that fire is not raging no more. See, the Bible says the word of God is like fire. Shut up in my bones. Shut up. See, and the enemy don't want you getting this. The enemy don't want you seeing, nope. knowing, and understanding how he's coming up against you. See, he wants you to be blind to what he's doing. Blind to That's why he's yes. able to keep doing the same stuff over oh and over and oh over again. Why? Mm-hmm. Because if you don't learn the lesson, then I'm going to keep coming the same old way. That's mm-hmm. right. And we find ourselves doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. It's not gonna mm. work. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna work. I'm gonna work. To be able to see this, you know, when Jesus launched his ministry, in Luke four and eighteen, it says this: "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed <laughs> me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty." them that abuse 
to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now, mm -hmm. looking at that, and I said, wow, that's what Jesus did. But I realized that because Jesus saved me, because Jesus saved you, and because the mere fact that he's in you, and because there's anointing on your life now, there's an anointing on your life now to do. God didn't save you for you to be a spectator. He saved you so you can participate in winning souls and leading others yes. to Christ. And, and, and breaking strongholds, uh, praying over folk, and allowing folk to know this same God that you fell in love with. Come on, I come on. not want to share him when he's been so good to you. Thank when you. there's mm -hmm. so many people out there hurting, going through, hurting. don't yep. realize that all they need to do is come to Jesus. I'm not going to say it's going to be a cakewalk. I'm not going to say that it's going to be easy because that don't mean that all your troubles going to go away. No. But the real deal is, in spite of what you're going through, I'm here to tell you, God will make a way out of nowhere. Make a way out of nowhere. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. But we have to know and understand our enemy. Yes. Now, let me put it like this. We have a common enemy, but he's using different tactics on us. Yes. <laughs> he knows what I'm weak to. He knows what you're weak to. Are you hearing me? Uh, he knows yes. who you like, but might not like you. Are you, he know, you know, you're trying to make it on the J-O-B, but I'm going to bring strife through your boss or whatever. Yes. I'm going to bring strife through your church and this and that and that and this. Why? Because the devil don't want you to be happy. Don't. Right. And we have to be able to see, know, and understand. See, and, and then, you know, you might even be asking yourself, well, why the devil so hard on me? Why is he so hard on me? I would dare say this, that there's such an anointing on your life that the enemy know I have to be hard on you because I don't want you to get a glimmer. I don't even want you to look through the peephole and see right. how great you are. I got to I got to keep you up in that pain. I got to keep you in that hurt. I got to keep you distracted. I got to keep you going through. Why? Because I don't want you to see the glory. The glory, yes. The glory of God that is on yes. you, that's going to work yes. in and through you. Yes, don't Lord. You know who you are. See, until you know who you are and whose you are, the devil is a liar. Thank you, Jesus. But look at this here. Look at this here. We're talking about the enemy want to block your gifts, your talents, your skills, all this. Hey, God didn't just save you and save you empty. You are loaded. Are you hearing me? You are loaded for bear. Matter of fact, scripture says we have this treasure in earth and vessels that the excellency and power may be of God and not of ourselves. Are you hearing me? So I'm here to tell you, you are more than a conqueror. I'm here more to find you. I'm here to wake you up, shake you, letting you know that you can do all things through Christ. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than the devil that is after you. You have to be able, going back to it now, be able to speak those things that are not as if they are. Devil, get out the way. Get out the Devil, way. Move over. Out. Right. Devil, I, you can't, I'm not going for the lie no more. No. Mm, hallelujah. Because I know who I am. And yes. I know yes. whose I am. I belong now, to God. Uh, I'm a man. God. Uh, and you know what that means? That means I am somebody because God didn't make no jump when he That's made right. me. When he yes, made Lord. me. Are you hearing me? Well, look at this here in Luke chapter 11 and 24. Luke 11 and 24, I want you to get this. And you can also find this in Matthew 12 and 43, but I'm going to read it from Luke 11 and 24. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he walks through dry places seeking rest and finding none. He says to himself, I will return into my house where I came out. Listen to what I'm saying now. That's yep. what that unclean spirit is saying. I'm going back into that house that I came out of. He finds mm -hmm. it swept and put in order. Then mm -hmm. he goes and takes with himself yeah. seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter and dwell there. In other words, they return back into that body in which they came out of. And the last state of that man or woman is worse than the worse, first. Worse than the first. Are you hearing me? That mm -hmm. means he's on a mission. Oh yeah, you want to break a good man, good woman down. Mm -hmm. you from your purpose, 
You are yes. here on purpose to fulfill a purpose and God's will and purpose for your life is always better than what you can come up with for yourself. Mm -hmm. Always. You will want you to well, all that devil wants you to do is sin. That's all That's you right. do is sin. Now, I want to look at some things about the devil, about the enemy. I want to just break it down from what we read just now. Number one, demons can exist in or out of the body. They can exist inside or outside of the body. Because he says, he goes, he leaves the body, goes looking for rest and find none. So what do he say? I'm coming back. He's so coming demons back. Demons can travel at will. They can travel at will. And guess what? They don't need no money. No. <laughs> <laughs> or a car. Yeah, that's right. A car, nothing else. Are you hearing me? Because that's an unclean spirit. And then the third thing is the demons need a, a body in order to find rest. They need a host. They need a Come body on. in order to find rest. And Come they want to rest up in you. You know mm -hmm. what I come to realize, and 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 I, and I and I can say I was guilty of this myself. That's why I thank God so much for Mama because Mama helped me to see, you know, really what this spiritual warfare is about. Because mm -hmm. we will run away from the very God that want to give you peace, yeah. that mm -hmm. wanna give you rest, mm -hmm. that want to open up your mind, your eyes, your spiritual eyes, so you can understand really what you're in. So you can see that this is a spiritual fight and you got to be able to shut down the natural man, the mind mm -hmm. that has been so programmed by the world and realize that until we can tap into the spirit, because that's really what this is about, tapping into the spirit. See, and, 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 and let me give you this here. The demons can also communicate using your voice. They can, they can communicate, in other words, talk to you and talk to other demons or whatever, using your voice. Using Look your voice. Five and Woo! Six, I want you to get this now. Mark 5 and 7 says this. The unclean spirit cried with a loud voice and said, what do I have to do with you, Jesus? Thou son of the most high God, I adjure you by God in other words, the demon is telling Jesus, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Don't bother me. It's not that time yet. No, no, you coming too soon. Don't bother me. And what he said, that you torment me not. So he didn't even want that. He didn't even want Jesus, the, 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 let's just say, to serve an eviction notice on him. <laughs> but Jesus yep. said in the eighth verse, I'm serving an eviction notice. And Jesus said, Come out of that man, you unclean spirit. Call him for what he is. And we have to be able to speak to that devil. Yeah, it's not about playing, playing patty cake with him. It's about speaking, you know, speaking to that devil with authority. Why? Because Jesus says he gives you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So we have to utilize the authority and power that God has given us. Going back That's to what right. I shared earlier about uh, that he's given us a sound mind, but he's given us what? Power, love, and a sound mm -hmm. mind. So power we have love. the power. Yeah, yeah. The reign. We, we have got the power it, right? to have mastery over the enemy. Uh -huh. Also, understand this now. Understand this now. Lord Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Give me some <laughs> Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. This is good. Yeah, we, we have to be mm. able to see this. Yes. We have to be able to see this because this devil ain't playing. No, see, I know. Now, here's the next thing that I want to give you. See, he's trying to play with my pad right now, but he's going to get up <laughs> off my pad. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. See, number, number, now, see, the, the devil, he want to he wanna get us to do those things that we really shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. see, matter of fact, Demons exist and operate within a demonic hierarchy. Mm -hmm. like there you go. Me. It's just like when I was going to the army, I, you know, I go in, I'd be a buck private, then I'd be a private first class, and then a spec four, spec five, whatever, so on and so forth. So, and then we, you know, grow, you know, it's a hierarchy. And, and, and we have to be able to see that's the way they operate, that's how they mm -hmm. operate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, See, one of the things that we have to understand is those that hierarchy is based upon the levels of their wickedness. 
those who are really wicked are like little master sergeants and captains and lieutenants. Those buck private demons, they 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 cause you to do those little sins, you know. But now what we have to realize is sin is sin in God's eyes. Yes. We as people like to categorize our sin. Yes. To say, well, oh, that ain't that bad. You know, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't forgive uh -huh. you for that. You know, you can you can tell that little old lie. God he'll forgive you. You know, you can steal that bubble gum out of nobody's <laughs> you know, you can you can go curse somebody out up the street around the corner and then come back <laughs> to church and, and say, Oh Lord, I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it's amazing how good water and bad water, good water and bad water don't come out of the same fountain. Come on now. Hearing me, and it shouldn't be coming out of our mouths. But the Bible says this. <laughs> the Bible says we are all drawn away by our own by love. Us. Are you hearing me? And yeah. then Romans, and Paul reminds us in Romans, for I do not understand my own act. And I'm giving it from the yeah. English Standard Version. Mm -hmm. For I do not understand my own actions. Mm -hmm. For I do not do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But I do the very thing I hate. Mm -hmm. Now, if I do what I do not want to do, mm -hmm. I agree with the law that it is good. Now, the real deal is we're no longer under the law. We're under grace. Yeah. Amen. So we realize we're not under the law. We're under grace. Mm -hmm. But the 17th verse puts it, lays it out. So now it is no longer I who do it, mm -hmm. but sin that dwells in me. Mm -hmm. So what are we saying? Sin can take off, take on a life of its own. So, and this is why we have to be led by the Spirit. The Bible said those of us who are led by the Spirit are sons and daughters of God. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have to be led by the Spirit. I have to be in that, let's just, let's just say, in that, in that place where I'm not giving place to the devil. Mm -hmm. And then look, let me let me let me let me share this. Religious deception. We talked about that last last week. That's one of the biggest challenges that we're going to have in the church, that religious de uh, deception. Why? Because the Bible says where good is, evil is always present. Always present. So what am I saying? You don't have to go outside of the church to find evil and mm -hmm. wickedness. You got evil and wickedness in the church. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about, I don't want to label none of these churches that, you know, doing the pedophiles against mm -hmm. little children. Uh, you know, doing things. I mean, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on in the church that is yes. not right. Are you hearing me? That yes. is out of God. And, and 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 then we have to also understand, mainly because of demonic influence and control that is being exercised and used in the church to do what? To deceive the people of God. Mm -hmm. That enemy, hey, hey, Romans 12 somewhere talks about how the devil has deceived the whole world. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, at one time, all of us were deceived. Thank God. Once I was lost, but now I'm found. Once I was blind, but now I see. Now I see. Are you hearing me? We have so much to be thankful for. Yes. But if it had not been for the Lord on Come our on. side, are yeah. you hearing me? You see, and then, and then the real deal is demons love to deceive believers. Mm -hmm. He yes. loves to deceive us. Mm -hmm. Those of mm -hmm. us who's in the word. Those of us who didn't have a prayer life, those mm -hmm. of us who love to help the less fortunate, mm -hmm. those of us that's reading that word, those of us that are committed to the fellowship, yep. we love to deceive us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how? With the false teaching, the false right. doctrine. Yes. As I said earlier, one of the mm -hmm. examples is, you know, oh, don't worry. It's okay to sin a little. It's mm -hmm. okay to sin a little. God mm -hmm. will forgive you. Don't worry about it. And we know God will forgive us based upon 1 John 1 and 9. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all of our unrighteousness. Oh, oh. We know all of that. Mm -hmm. but matter of fact, one of the mistakes that we make is uh, Romans 6 and 1 says this. Are we to continue in sin Come on. so that grace may abound? Uh, in other words, you don't just sin recklessly you know, ab abandon all of what you've learned and what mm -hmm. you know and say, well, oh, well, God will forgive me. So I can mm -hmm. go lay up with Sister Butterbee. Right. I can chill out <laughs> with Slick Willie and Crazy Eddie. You better not do it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going that way. Uh-uh. 
<laughs> now, let me tell you this story. Matter of fact, there's a story I, I told, you know, one of the young ladies that was coming to the church, this was years ago when I first started church down here in Newark. And she was telling me that one of her friends went to a party and they and, and her friend, her girlfriend met a young man at the party. And, and that night she brought him home, let him come home with her. And they got to do to do and so on and so forth. <laughs> she woke up the next morning. There was a note on her night table that says that she has just been introduced to AIDS. HIV. Are, are, mm -hmm. HIV. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. And why? Because she dropped her guard. Mm -hmm. Dropped her guard. Because, see, that's, you can't allow yourself to be so needy that somebody can say something in your ear to make you feel good. Hey, you need to learn how to make yourself feel good. <laughs> you <laughs> got that to right. the rub on yourself. Oh, I like That's that. right. Are you hearing me? I'm not uh, trying to be narcissistic <laughs> or anything like that. But right. I, before I let somebody I don't know in, I'm like, hey, I'm going to reintroduce myself. To to myself. myself. To and I'm right. going to believe this is Jesus rubbing mm -hmm. on me. Thank you. Yes. Jesus. Are you hearing me? So he <laughs> will supply all of my needs. Oh, I yes. don't just mean my physical. I mean, every need that is mm -hmm. in my life, he will supply it. He will meet the needs and desires mm -hmm. of our hearts. Mm -hmm. Look at this. First Timothy 4 and 1 says this. Now the Spirit expressly, expressly says that in the latter time, some mm -hmm. shall depart from the faith mm -hmm. with heed to deceiving spirits and mm -hmm. doctrines of demons. Mm -hmm. Lord have this is what's going on in the church mm -hmm. tickling the ears they want to hear something good mm -hmm. yeah we even mastered what God has already given them mm -hmm. running from here running there I gotta hear a word I gotta hear a word but not living on the word that they already received prosperity mm -hmm. sometimes we just need to just sit back and just meditate on that word mm -hmm. let God speak to us I think last week I told you that the mission of the church Mm -hmm. is to prepare you for spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. It's to mm -hmm. prepare you for spiritual warfare that you mm -hmm. will face in the world. But the church has also neglected to prepare God's people mm -hmm. for the spiritual warfare that will mm -hmm. take place in the church. And this is why we have to, you know, the Bible says we have to be like the Bereans. We have to mm -hmm. study, yeah. mm -hmm. study that word to know it for ourselves. Yeah. To show yourself approved, a workman not ashamed, mm -hmm. rightly dividing the word of truth, rightly dividing the word of truth. So I, I can go to church and hear what the preacher says. Well, even what you're hearing tonight, you can hear this. But now when this is over, let me break that word out and let me look and look and see what God is saying to me in this word. Mm -hmm. What does he want me to know? What do I need to understand mm -hmm. so I can go to the next level? Because devil, you coming up out of my stuff. I'm serving <laughs> yes. notice on your devil. You got to get out of my finances, get out of my relationship. Yep. You got to get yes. up out of my head. You got to get yeah. out of my body. You got to loose me now in the name of Jesus. Uh, because <laughs> I know that my God loved me. And he don't, he's not a part-time lover. <laughs> <laughs> think about some of them folks. Who <laughs> think of, oh, you know, I think about that book Keisha wrote, Deceived. Oh, mm -hmm. Lord, gee. All of us have been deceived in some of these relationships we've been in. Yes. And we've given the best of what we had to try to make it work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it work. I wanted it to work. It's not like I was in it for fun. Not like I was trying to play house. I mm -hmm. was real. But mm -hmm. the real deal is we didn't realize there was a devil trying to work between us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Between us. Didn't realize there was a devil trying mm -hmm. to occupy that right. somebody so that he can steal our joy. So he mm -hmm. can make us feel like we're not good enough. But mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you today, you are well able to do what God has sent you here to do. Why? Because you have power and authority over the devil that's trying to mm -hmm. have power and authority over oh, you. Over you. Don't Amen. you relinquish Amen. your power and authority. Don't you give it up. You got to keep on fighting. And you're fighting mm -hmm. when you stand in faith knowing that all things mm -hmm. are working together for the good. Not just the good things. Even when the bad oh, things yes. happen, you have mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm, to stand mm -hmm. up in the bad things and say, I'm not going to give up on my God. Uh, yeah. I think Job said, what did Job say? Though he may slay me, 
Yeah. Hey, God, yeah. though he may slay me, yet will yeah. I trust him. Why? Yeah. I've got to trust him in the good times and the bad times, too. I'm going to praise him. I'm going <laughs> to thank him because I recognize and realize if it had not been for the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the bright morning star. I'm talking about the lily of the valley. I'm talking about the one. Oh, Lord, gee. I'm hey, hallelujah. Good right about now. So I don't know if that, if that devil hovering around your house, you better tell that devil getting up out of here. I'm going to take notice on you, devil. You getting up out of here. Here it is. Here it is. I told you. There it is. You don't want Jesus to kick out. Uh, you better let me get turn it back. And you got to be able to utilize your authority. Are you hearing me? Yes. You utilize your power and authority and do mm -hmm. what you need to do to mm -hmm. take back yeah. your life. That's God, right. Jesus says, I come to give you life and yeah. give you more abundantly. More abundantly. He wants you to live the abundant life. Mm -hmm. He wants you to know what it is to be blessed. Mm -hmm. You know how many people in the body of Christ talk about how blessed they are and I'm blessed, 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 mm -hmm. and this and that and this, but behind that smile is a lot of hurt. Behind a lot of hurt. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You have to fake it till you make it. You don't have to fake it till you make it. Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. My God is too good for me Come to on. have to fake it. I don't have to pretend that I'm blessed. Uh-uh. You can look at me and see I'm blessed. I know that's right. hearing me. You can look at me and see that my smile is real. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You can see I'm happy on the inside. Right? Yes. God is good. And he's not sometimes good. He's always, All the always time. good. Because that's the God that we serve. <laughs> God. Eternal Father, we just want to thank you for this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the leading of your spirit. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. I thank you for reminding us, Lord God, that we have power and authority mm -hmm. over this death. Yes, Lord. Over Jesus. his yes, Lord. And demons, Lord God. Mm -hmm. yes. Father God, I pray even now, Lord God, that your word would marinate in our hearts. Yes, you Lord Jesus. Change our minds of anyone, Lord God, mm -hmm. presently or those that might view this at a later time, Father yes. God. Mm -hmm. Yes, I God. I pray, God, that you will move on, mm -hmm. their, on their situation, yes. move yes, on Lord their, Jesus. their hearts. I pray, God, that you will uh, uh, give them spiritual discernment, yes. Father God, yes. Yes, Lord. that they not rest in their error, rest yes, in the Lord. fall, rest in the yes, fall, Lord but Lord God, give them the strength and the power mm -hmm. to get back up. Give them what they need, Lord, mm -hmm. to keep on fighting a good yes, fight. Lord. Yes, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus. Lord, I'm thanking you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord. able to come together with my family. Yes, I Lord thank Jesus. you, Father God, thank for you, God. everyone that is viewing this program, Father mm -hmm. God. Whether now or later, I pray, God, God. That your blessing will meet them where they're at. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. Father God, I pray that something has been said that will yes. quicken something that has been said that will open up their understanding. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. have been said that will mm -hmm. cause them to want to fight a good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. yes. Something that has been said that will cause them to yes. know that they are somebody special. Yes. 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 Thank, you. Give up. thank you Jesus so, Father God we're going to continue to rage a fight against that enemy yes. Lord God because we recognize Lord that this fight is not against flesh and blood so yes, Lord, Lord help Jesus. us to continue mm -hmm. to love on one another yes. the yes, way Lord Christ Jesus. have loved the church mm -hmm. yes, so, Father God I pray even now that your precious, your precious anointing mm -hmm. is settled on this line yes. and I pray God that you will meet each one where we're at Father mm -hmm. God those mm -hmm. who are not able to join us tonight, yeah. for uh -huh. whatever reason, I pray your blessing to be upon them right now mm -hmm. in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. 